Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tara Love Messages. In today's reading, we are going to take a look at your person's messages to you right now. So I want you to take a moment, pause, take take as long of a time as you need to, think about your person, and we want to see what is it that they're trying to communicate to you, what is it that they want you to know, what messages do they have for you that they want to reach you. Um, it is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind as well. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below the video. Okay, I normally like to do the six cards, but I feel like these two cards have flipped over as well, and it's for a reason. Okay, you've got the Ace of Pentacles and you've got the Two of Wands. Okay, this is interesting. Your person has definitely been giving um, a lot of their mental energy, okay, and a lot of um, their emotional energy to you in your current situation. It seems as though with the High Priestess, the presence of the High Priestess here, there is a psychic connection that the two of you share, okay? It feels like the both of you um, are communicating each other, not only verbally, okay? Or even if you're not communicating verbally, it is energetically. You guys, if you have your person constantly on your mind, it's because they're thinking about you too. Or if, you, if you're seeing and picking up synchronicities, like certain number patterns that are of course meaningful to you like 1111 or um you know if you're seeing butterflies or certain symbols synchronicities um, over and over again it does have some there is some sort of connection between you and this person okay it could very well be that that your person is trying to reach you okay your person is thinking about you okay they can't stop thinking about you it could also be um their thoughts could be quite like intrusive and obsessive like they can't help um, you know, they can't help themselves, can't stop themselves from thinking about you. This could also be, the High Priestess could also be an indication of this being a twin flame connection, okay? And twin flames um, do have this psychic connection. It's hard to know whether this is because um, the psychic connection that I'm picking up is because it's a twin flame or because generally when, you know, uh, people that are just so close or spend so much time together that they start developing this very strong, uh, this very strong connection, which almost ends up uh, being psychic. The High Priestess could also represent that there is a love affair between the two of you that has not manifested in the physical form. So for whatever reason, you know, this person may have some very strong romantic feelings and you do too, but it hasn't necessarily translated in the, you know, in the physical space. So you've never acted on those feelings. Um, it could be because they're, they're attached to someone else. It could be because you're attached, you're in a relationship with someone else. Maybe this person is scared of making a move. They don't know how you feel. Okay. They're a little bit uncertain. They're not sure if you're going to reciprocate or accept or reject their advances. It could have something to do with the fact that this is a professional um, setting. Like for example, maybe you guys work together and they don't want to jeopardize their position or your position. Okay, um, I feel like this person, um, this person want, it feels like they're invested. Okay, it feels like they're invested, they're invested emotionally here. Um, I'm also seeing that your person, I mean, they think about you. They think about you a lot. They think you're someone who's very attractive. They think, um, they think very highly of you. So I don't know if because you work with this person and they really admire your work ethic. They admire the way that you carry yourself. Um, it feels like they hold you in high esteem. So they, you know, they hold you in high regard here. So... There's a lot of respect that this person has for you. And I think out of respect, this person might be scared of making a move. Or out of respect, this person might be scared of jeopardizing the connection that you guys do share. There is this certain, there's this energy of uncertainty. There's this energy of 
um, anxiety. I feel like your person does fantasize about you, but here's the thing. I feel like some of the energies here, it feels like there's somewhat of a fantasy or somewhat of an illusion. I don't know if it's because this person is involved with someone else or you're involved with someone else. And there's this fantasy of someone wanting to break up with someone or this fantasy of this person wanting you to break up with your current partners, you know, um, so you can sort of stop loving your partner and then all of a sudden start loving them. And it does seem a little bit, you know, fantastical. There is this element of fantasy that I'm picking up, this element of illusion. So I don't know if it's you or I don't know if it's them. Just be careful not to get swept up in the illusion uh, with the presence of the moon. And of course the high priestess, because notice with the, moon's, the moon card, the, the appearances, the images are so similar-like right in appearance so it's hard to tell you know what's what there's some sort of it's like your person is thinking there's some sort of choice or decision that you have to make or your person is thinking about making this choice or decision is going to impact your connection with them moving forward and it's also going to impact for those of you that do work together it's going to impact um your workspace okay um, and your career path. So there's some sort of choice or decision that your person is making, <clears throat> but they're giving this a lot of thought. If this is someone whom you have broken up with, guys, if this is someone whom you're going through something turbulent, or if you guys are separated, or if you've just been going through something very tumultuous lately, your person is they're scared right now. There's quite an anxiety driven energy to them. Your person is scared of losing you. Your person is scared that you might not be able to work through this conflict, this turbulency that you're both experiencing. They want to, with the presence of justice card, they definitely want to, you know, right their wrongs. If they also want to come in with an apology. And I feel like a lot of you, you will be receiving an apology from your person. Okay, especially in relation to something that they've said or they've done um, they definitely don't want to lose you they definitely you know they regret hurting you or they regret their past actions and past behavior again you know they think the world of you but I feel like your person is putting you up on a pedestal and you know when you put someone up on a pedestal you instantly create the separation you create this division and it feels like there is some sort of insecure energy in your person where they feel like you're too good for them or they're punching above their weight with you right you're out of their league and they feel like they can never measure up and I feel like that leads them to do to act or to feel a certain way which then is very self um, is very sabotaging to the connection I feel like they especially think about you during the night okay you've got the moon here this is someone who they might even be writing poetry or creative work that is uh, that you have inspired but I feel like this person stays up l late at night or stays up all night sort of thinking about you and thinking about it's like they're replaying something I'm also seeing that much like the moon your connection with this person perhaps their feelings for you there's this rise and fall okay the, the connection goes through stages of growth but then there's also stages of decline where you take one step forward and a couple of steps back. I'm seeing that there needs to be, they, you know, they want commitment with you. They want something long term and they want um, stability and security. I don't know if they know how to provide that for you or I don't know if, you know, they're just, they're projecting some of the insecurities and anxieties that they feel. They're projecting some of that into the relationship. And it's what's sort of hindering this connection. But this is someone who thinks you're very attractive. Uh, this is someone who, you know, they want something long term with you. They want to enter into a relationship or they want to, you know, make things official or uh, stabilize your connection here. But there's something that's getting in the way and it feels like it's fear or it's anxiety. It's getting in the way of their feelings for you and this connection. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Bye.